are Locked On Eagles, your daily Philadelphia Eagles podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Today, we're going to get into the mailbag portion of the show in segment two and three. A lot of great questions from you listeners. Thanks so much for contributing to that. Uh, but Gino, before we do get into that, wanted to talk to you about the updated bet online MVP odds for the 2022 NFL season. Your boy Justin Herbert right now at the top at plus 550. But look here, Jalen Hurts is in the top 10. He is number nine here, tied for eighth actually with Deshaun Watson at plus 1800. Is that too high, too low? When you look at MVP odds, I kind of almost look at it as how you would approach something for fantasy football as well. You want to think statistics. You want to think yeah. output. The guys on this list, they're either one pure pocket passers that are going to go for 5,000 plus yards, mm -hmm. or they're those dual threat types like a Jalen Hurts, like a Deshaun Watson, like a Russell Wilson, these guys that can move around and are mobile and will pick up a lot of yards with their legs. Look at number two, Josh Allen. A huge part of his game is what he can do on the ground as well. I'm not surprised by that, honestly, Lou. Jalen Hurts, with everything around him, the talk of Andy Reid being a big fan of him as well. I think the league is really hype. buying in yeah. to what Jalen Hurts can do. He's a well-respected quarterback in this league, a well-respected individual, and it only goes to show that they really do support him with the weapons that they put around him. Right. And I love that he's in the potential MVP conversation because that's the mark you should look for in your quarterback. Could they ever p potentially hit that ceiling of being that player that you win because of on constant occasions? The closest yeah. we've ever seen to that was 2017 with Carson Wentz when he just had that fantastic season where multiple games you're looking and saying your quarterback was the reason you walked out of there with a win. Yeah, Jalen look at Hurts, all the players here. I mean, Jalen that, that's Hurts, what these guys do. Got to live up to some big names in this conversation, but rightfully so. That's today's NFL. That's the landscape of the NFC in general. And our friend Brian Peacock today over at the Lockdown NFL Show put the Eagles as his fifth best team in the NFC. If they're going to be a top five potential team in this conference, a He'd lot of it is going to have to be candidate. Exactly. Yeah. A lot 100%. of it would have to come at the hands of Jalen. Yeah. That's for sure. I wouldn't bet on him to an MVP at plus 1,800. I don't think he's going to take that kind of step this year. Mm -hmm. But I do understand why he's a favorite right now, why he's getting a lot of hype. As you said, the Eagles built around him tremendously this offseason, trading for A.J. Brown. He's got the best offensive line in football in front of him. And they continue to bolster that with Cam Jurgens in the second round. They've got Devontae Smith, Quez Watkins, Dallas Goddard, Miles Sanders, Kenny Gainwell, a ton of weapons. And they're also going by the trends too, Gino. You look at what has been the blueprint for a lot of these MVP candidates and winners over the last five to six years. You mentioned Carson Wentz in 2017. Didn't win it, but he would have if he didn't get hurt. Look at Patrick Mahomes. Look at, as well, Lamar Jackson. Look at Josh Allen coming just short in 2020 behind Aaron Rodgers. It was a second year. Most of them are second year players in total, but in general, a second year starter who takes that big leap after a team really mm. builds around him in year two. That's kind of the blueprint. So I get the logic as to why he is in the top 10 with, again, some incredible names. Again, I mean, look at the top 10. It's Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, and Aaron Rodgers. I mean, some of the best in the game. Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson, and then there's Jalen Hurts. So he's in great company. But again, that's kind of been the trend of the MVP. So I do understand it. For me, though, Lamar Jackson plus 2,500. Hammer those odds as he drags that carcass of the Ravens. Eagles 2019 like receiving core to the playoffs this year. That, that'd be my bet. Looking at the odds in total, I, I for sure am with you on taking a guy like Lamar, even Kyler Murray. Kyler's got over. great odds. 3,300? Yeah, I like that. That's great If you're going to give me 1,500 points over what Jalen Hurts right. is at between him That's and Kyler Murray, buck. you go with the bang for your buck. I look at Jalen Hurts and we people compare him to Lamar Jackson, right? I don't think that is a fair comparison. You don't, don't think either. it is either. If you're going to look at the threshold for what Jalen Hurts should look to get to, if he were to be in the conversation for MVP, 
I think it's very similar to the season that Lamar Jackson Yeah, 2019 Lamar would be the most similar path or realistic. It would have to be a big output with your arm year over year, jumping over what you did in 2021 and staying on par with those measures that you've hit and matched Lamar on with your legs. And that's one thing you could look at. If you're going to look at a trajectory of what Jalen can get to, he's already on par with what Lamar does with his legs, if he could even take a percentage step over what Lamar does with his arm with better weapons than Lamar has ever had, there's something to be said about the potential that Jalen Hurts could have arguably his best year in Philadelphia and prove a lot of people wrong. And it has to come through the air and improve in that area as well because we know what he can do with his legs. Just become a more versatile passer to open up the playbook and allow all of these weapons to flourish, which will get you to 4,000 or more yards. I would like to see Jalen, if he could get 4,000 yards in the air, that's a a fantastic season. I'll take that any day of the week. It's only happened once ever in franchise history. Carson Wentz back in 2019. You're right that like, that would be the most realistic path, you you know, because he doesn't even have to throw for 4,000 yards. It could, his passing touchdowns could increase like mm-hmm, Lamar went from definitely. six touchdowns passing in 2018 to 36 in 2019 he had a 36 to 9 ratio that year 36 to 6 excuse me 36 passing touchdowns and six interceptions only threw for 3,127 yards but again though like that still was a historic season 36 and 6 and Lamar on the ground that year rushed for let's see here it was over 1,200 yards, right? Yeah, 1,206 mm-hmm. yards and seven touchdowns. So that's over 40 touchdowns and 4,000 from scrimmage pretty much. I mean, but yeah, I agree. Like if there was a path for Jalen, mm-hmm. it would be most similar to that year compared to like, you know, what Patrick Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers are doing. I just don't think he has that in him, but uh, there he is at plus 1,800. So get your bets in at Bet Online as he is a top 10 candidate for MVP. Gino, you, know, you see on the right here, our Lockdown official account posted some other notable dark horses you see like of all those guys Trey Lance I see Tua in there Derrick Henry Justin Fields is there like of all all those players like the non-quarterbacks or maybe the dark horse quarterbacks who's your favorite it's a quarterback award pretty much though at this point so I wouldn't even waste your time with Derrick Henry or even Jonathan Taylor I was gonna say it's 66 to 1 though Jonathan Taylor, what he does for that Indianapolis team. Yeah, I just like he really time it was AP, right? In 2012. Right. But he is what people thought Christian McCaffrey was going to be. He's more versatile. He's more stable to be on the field. He's more reliable. I think he's going to have another impressive season in Indianapolis. If I'm taking long shot odds, long shot odds, say that 20 yeah. times fast, I'm going there or I'm going Devontae Adams at 101, goes back there. With Derek Carr, they go back to the Fresno connection. I could see him putting up like a Randy Moss-esque season when it comes to touchdowns when he went and played with Tom Brady and had that career year. I could see something happening like that with Devontae Adams. He's going to go off in Vegas, man. I I really think he's going to go off with him. But you got to go to one place and one place only to place your bets and bet online, Lou. You know that. Absolutely. Uh, Carson Wentz was at 100 to 1. Eagles fans would hate me, but that would be the bet I would take of all of those for You're sure. But uh, definitely interesting to uh, see what Sam happens Howell's in the 2022 be the season. Quarterback <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, you can find our full episodes right here on Locked On Eagles. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find exclusive short videos just like this one on our YouTube channel and on all podcast platforms. As always, thank you for watching and let's go birds.